What's going on guys? You already know it's your boy M to the A to the C to the K A Y vibes. I'm back again with another video today. Today I'm doing a preview of the second quarter final game in Afcon 2021, which is gonna be between Egypt and Morocco, right? So these two countries are two Arab countries in Africa. So we're gonna be talking about these two countries, the games they have played so far, and who we think would have the upper end when the match is played so please before we continue guys if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do me a favor by clicking that subscribe button right now and also give this video a big thumbs up so this video can get to more people thank you very much for that now let's get back to the video so we're going to be starting with egypt you know what i'm saying like we did in the last video so by the way guys if you haven't watched my last video go watch it now because that i spoke about um the first game that will be taking place in the quarterfinal which is going to be between gambia and cameroon right and i gave my prediction in that game saying that cameroon will come out on top we'll find out later today so today is about egypt and morocco you know what i'm saying so now both teams have been outstanding so far in this competition but i feel like wait let's find out though let's talk about egypt first right so egypt we all know the guy mo salah mohammed salah who plays in the premier league for liverpool football club right and that's basically their star player you know and uh yeah so let's talk about the games that let's talk about the games that egypt has played so far in this in this tournament so match day one of three in the African Cup of Nations, they played against Almighty Nigeria. Nigeria for a lot. Da, da, da. Unfortunately, we are out of the competition now. We were favorites before while we were still there, but now we're out. So, anyways, so they played. <laughs> I'm I'm a Nigeria guy. Nigeria for life. You understand? Nigeria for life. So, anyways, um, yeah, we played against Egypt. So that was Nigeria, Egypt. We beat them. So many people did not expect Nigeria to be Egypt, but we beat them. And um, who scored the goal? Guess who? Senior Man Kells. Inacho, you understand? Who plays for Leicester City in the Premier League? He scored the only goal of the game against Egypt, and that was an assist. And that was an outstanding goal. I'm going to show you guys the goal. You're going to see the clip. You know, that was an outstanding, incredible goal. You know, so we beat Egypt. Basically, Egypt, you know, was one one goal to, to zero, right? And um, in the second game, in the group stage, you know what I'm saying? Second game of the group stage for Egypt was against Guinea-Bissau, right? And they won that game by a goal to zero. So, who scored in that game? That was Mo Salah. Almighty Mo Salah. He scored in the 69th minute. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I wouldn't say he played well in that game. He was just chanced to score that goal. That goal, he wasn't really sure that... Because at first, when he scored that goal, he wasn't sure whether it was offside or not. So it was later, maybe a few seconds later, a few minutes later, they realized that it wasn't offside and the goal was given. Don't get me wrong, that goal was an outstanding goal. It was a good goal, but it wasn't sure at first, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, they gave them the goal. So long story short, Egypt won that game by a goal to zero. So they were actually getting closer to the groups, um, to um, the round of 16, you know what I'm saying? That pushed them closer to the round of 16. So their third game, in the group stage match day three of three they played against sudan you know what i'm saying and they came out victorious in that game <sighs> but mosala did not score this time around he was the player named um abdel monem who scored in the 35th minute of the match so he scored in that game and they won against sudan you know what i'm saying so basically if we're gonna um and um yeah the last game was against Ivory Coast, Almighty Ivory Coast. Oh, Ivory Coast. Because I was, I won't say I was rooting for Ivory Coast, but I would just say they were one of my favorites to win this competition, the AFCON 2021. But 
you know, like I said, things happen. Only one team can win. You know what I'm saying? We don't know the team yet, but only one team can win. I recall they tried all their best, all they could, but we all know Eric Bailly, he missed the penalty, which which it could happen to anyone. Let's be honest. He missed the penalty, and uh, yeah, Egypt ended up winning, you know, the the game. Mo Salah scored the last um, spot kick, you know, he scored it, and that took them to, you know, to the quarterfinals, basically. So now the next game is against Morocco, which will be happening to tomorrow sunday the 30th of january you know 2022 and uh, if i'll be honest they've been i won't say they've been like um i won't say they've been incredible i won't say egypt has been like really really incredible but i'll say they've they've actually found a way to get past all those matches and here we are now you know they're in the quarterfinal so who knows what's gonna happen we'll find out so now let's talk about the games morocco has played so far starting from their first game in this tournament right okay so match day one of three morocco played against ghana <sighs> so many west african countries were rooting for ghana let's just be honest you know what i'm saying because I'm, I'm from west africa we're all africans by the way you know what i'm saying no division but anyways so um yeah we're rooting for ghana but morocco came out on top they won against ghana by goal to zero right and that was the goal was called by bufal in the 83rd minute of the game you know what i'm saying so they went out to win that game by one goal to zero right so in the second game match day two of three they uh won against uh comoros comoros they they, they were one they, you know like they played well we didn't actually expect this like teams like Comoros, even Gambia, to be honest, to play so well, you know. So that's that's really impressive. But they won against Comoros, and uh, match match two of three, match day two of three, and uh, that was two goals to zero. So Morocco has been pretty solid so far. Let's just, if we're going to be honest, they've been pretty solid so far. And uh, the goal scorers were Amala, or oh, I hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> Amala who scored in the 16th minute and Abul Kal who scored in the 89th minute so they went ahead to win that game by two goals to zero so guys in their third match right match day three of three in the group stage they played against Gabon right and that ended in a 2-2 draw right so the goal scorers were for Gabon first of all were Alevina in the 21st minute and um Agued, I hope I'm saying his name right though. Please, I apologize if I'm not saying it right. But Agued, you know, scored for Gabon in the eighth first minute of the game. And uh, basically, that was an own goal. So I guess Agued is, is like a Moroccan player, you know. And for Morocco, um, Bufal scored in the 74th minute. And Akimi scored in the 84th minute of the game. And uh, for Morocco, so that ended in a, in a 2-2 draw. So basically, in the round of 16 match, they had against Malawi. You know what I'm saying? They came out on top. They came out victorious in that game, and the game ended 2-1, two, two goals to one. You know what I'm saying? So who scored in that game? Oh, it was N Nesri. Hope I'm saying it right. In the 47th minute, so it's like 45 plus two for the seventh minute, and Akimi again scored in the 70th minute to take them you know actually to you know that that was a solid performance let me put it that way so they won by two goals to one against malawi and who scored for malawi it was mango m-h-a-n-g-o scored in the seventh minute i was i'm not if it was malawi that scored first but hey morocco came out victorious so basically now the quarterfinal game which is going to be the quarter um, which is going to be the second quarterfinal game of afghan 2021 right is against egypt like we said so so far based on both of the team's performances so far it looks like morocco has the upper hand and but like i said there have been so many upsets in this afghan so far afghan combination so far so we never know what could happen but based on their performances so far it looks like um morocco would be winning that game you know i can't say for sure but let me give my prediction my prediction for that game would be an egypt win even though like i just said morocco has been playing well 
you know what I'm saying? They look like they have been the stronger team between, I'm talking about between these two teams. But I still feel like Egypt has a little um, edge, you know, that little edge over them just by Mo Salah being in their team. But you just never know because in the Nigeria, in the Nigeria Egypt game, Salah was quiet. It was kept quiet by the Nigerian defenders. But maybe the same thing could happen against Morocco. We just never know. Let's see if Salah could do his magic. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if we can perform magic. You understand? So you feel me though? So basically, that's my analysis and like my, my prediction. So I feel like um Egypt will come out on top. I might be wrong, and we're gonna find out. And uh, yeah, this Afcon 2021 has been incredible so far. I've been enjoying it. You know, what I'm saying I've been enjoying the games. Big ups to Africa. Big ups to all Africans in Africa and in the diaspora. You know, what I'm saying. And uh, thank you for the continued love and support. I really appreciate it. If you really enjoyed this video, please give the video a big thumbs up. Let it get to more people. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor by clicking that subscribe button and clicking the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post videos i'm going to be bringing more updates you know about subsequent matches so please make sure you stay tuned continue watching videos continue sharing i love you guys continue commenting too because i'm going to be replying to comments you know thank you for long support and um let's go watch the games today is cameroon and gambia gambia and cameroon so we'll see who's going to win that game and uh sunday tomorrow is going to be egypt and morocco let's find out let's see who's going to get to the final let's see who's going to get the eye um let's see who's going to get the highest goal scorer award and let's see who's going to win and lift that trophy african cup of nations 2021 stroke 2022 thank you for love and support i'll see you guys on the next one peace